Hello everybody and I wish you very very welcome back to another Top Drives video. Today we are gonna have a good look at the uh, Golden Lunar New Year event. But first I'm actually gonna dive a little bit into the daily event. Because as you can see I'm actually second here. Uh, which is very hard because always daily events are very competitive. You need 5 hatchbacks and this is exactly what I have here. Oh. I've actually made some adjustments to my deck uh, since uh, this uh, adjustment here, so I will probably lose this first one. Or maybe I won't actually, because this is looking quite easy. Uh, that's a win, okay. Uh, this is a win, uh, this is a win, this is a loss, and this is a loss. So basically what I have done is I have gotten my Renault, uh, the... Um, old one and I have swapped that one out for my golf with slick tires because that was just simply a better way to go uh, uh, from experimenting a little bit so let's put him in instead uh, this one goes here so uh, this is the best possible deck I can have and as you can see the opposition is quite hard except for this guy who is gonna get bullied um, so yeah This is how I would go. Uh, of course the results will be the same because apparently we did win with the Renault as well. Um, but yeah, 200 to 250, which is nice. Um, so this has been the daily event for me. Kind of just farming the people below me. Watching out for the guy, only guy above me who is the one who can beat me. And that's been like my entire, <laughs> my entire sort of experience here. Uh, this is the exact same track set again, isn't it? Uh, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah. So far so good on the daily event and I think I am gonna end up in second place, which is nice. It's an aluminum pack, you know, it's 8,000 cash, right? I think that's what it is. Yeah, 8k cash, 50 gold. That's not too bad, you know, because I cannot beat Yaman and of course he can beat me, so I have no chance versus him. But you know, I have chance versus these guys, so I'm doing my best to try to stay ahead of the guys I actually can beat, you know? Um, one mile drag is a win. These two are losses. He should still be fine, right? Because I do win the slalom test, I believe. Um, no, I lose the slalom test. Ooh, unfortunate. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Uh, but now let's head into what this video is actually going to be about. The Gold Lunar New Year event. I have been very hesitant to join this, but now it's eight and a half hours and I feel like I've got to make a move at some point. So I'm joining it now. As you can see, the prices are absolutely ridiculous. For first to third, we have a 5x carbon fiber, 3k gold, 40k cash and 120 renown points. And the prices don't really drop off. Um, I hope I can get at least tier 3. Um, because that would be a double carbon fiber pack and I would be absolutely more than all right with that and also 1000 gold. This would be the uh, where I would love to end up. Like if I get 51st to 150 that is fine as well. It's still a carbon fiber pack. But you know from top 50 and up I would be so happy. And why am I not aiming for the top 3? Well this is my deck. Uh, so you can see why I'm not aiming high. I have my two maxed out RS200s, my two maxed out EVOs, and my uh, Diablo. Uh, now the thing is, I do not have a KTRAM super light, and that is going to be a massive problem. Uh, but yeah, I think we can still fare good enough to get into the top 50, at least I am hopeful. Uh, so let's try it, let's see what our first, uh, well, versus people like this, I will have no problem. Um, of course... Uh, I think that should be a win, at least. <laughs> but, like, it seems like... Should... Oh, wow. That's the thing, though. Karting circuit makes me... F I'm gonna do this experiment, and I'm almost feeling like I should put my C to R2 as well. You know? Um, but we will see. I'm gonna do the experiment first. We're gonna see who wins over the RS200 and the C to R2. And if I indeed lose... Well, it's a, it's, that's a sign to switch it, of course. Uh, but let's see, I think I might still win because of my 
speed. Yeah, okay, so there is no idea to put the C to R2 instead of the RS200. That is a good experiment to know. Uh, this is all will also be good to know if I can beat this guy at one star, and it looks like I can, of course. All of the stats suggested, except for MRA, of course. Uh, so yeah, I was not surprised that I won that. And the mountain hill climb. Yeah. The corner, he got a little bit closer, but he couldn't really do anything. And, oh, 16th. That's only 30 people in my squad. Only 30 people in my bracket. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I think that's good, honestly. Uh, so long as I can get past uh, the point where late joiners can easily beat me, I think I should be fine here, actually, honestly. So... City streets are both wins. This is also fine. Now there will be another, yet another interesting experiment here. How will it fare on the slalom test? Because I do not know. Uh, hairpin twisty. Yeah, we're gonna do this. How will the RS200 fare versus the C2R2 on a slalom test? I do have superior mid-range acceleration, but he has superior shape for a slalom test. It's close, it's close, but the C2R2 is preferred in the slalom test. I think I can still justify keeping the RS200 around, uh, although I lose that slalom test, and this is hopefully a win. Oh, the Grand Sport is actually coming quite close here. Ooh, that was barely, barely a win. I am also missing out on the Grand Sport, which would be another amazing car to have for this uh, particular event. Um, so yeah, it's a lot... There's a lot of fields in which I am lacking in this event, for sure. Uh, but I still think it might be good enough for the top um, 50. I really, really do hope so. This is a nice squad, I must say. I win here, I tie here, I can win here, um, I tie here, and I lose here. So that's two wins, one loss. Yeah, this should be fine, right? I win this fast circuit, I tie this, the city streets, I win the city streets. And then I lose this, and, oh, do I lose that? I don't know. Huh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Um, firstly, this is going to be a win, I think. Yeah, no problem. Of course, the RS200 has good mid-range, so it was closer than you might imagine, that one. But, you know, it's fine. So, in the worst case scenario, we have a tie here, uh, and in the best case scenario, we have a win. I don't know, because I noticed on the karting circuit... Oh! There's no way I win, right? No, 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 no. Uh, on the karting circuit, he has actually gone 699, and I have gone 969. Um, I think he wins. Look at that. It looks like he's winning. Yeah, wow, that is very interesting. That makes that so makes me want a third RS two hundred. But yeah, okay, that's a tie then. Okay, uh, I should be. I could have won that though, but I wanted to do some experiments, uh, and I think that's okay. I believe this has beastly MRA, um, but I think we can still beat it. Um, Yeah, I don't know whether I can beat that guy. This guy feels a lot better because those Evos do not have good mid-range, uh, let me tell you. So we're gonna put one of our Evos versus one of his and one of our Evos versus his. Uh, so then we can do this and I think I should be able to win all of them except for maybe the one with the Caterham Super Light. Uh, the super light does not have the best mid-range, but it does have 100 handling and blistering 0 to 60. Uh, so, 
I am on the fence. Uh, I think I should win this though because it's a very quick section of the track and well I have a very quick car in comparison to him. As you can see it is a blowout. 72 points. Very very good. This is where the evils are not as good as you might w like them to be. Uh, but you know what can you do? There's only one track set with the Norse life and I think I really do think that I am good I am good to go on the Norse life uh, like I, I have a good squad for this particular one because I do not have a super light holding me back uh, you can see we are almost passing the super light here we are pass are we are we gonna win Wow okay okay so the Norse life uh, the Nürburgring, I am going to, Nürburgring, how do you say it? I am going to absolutely dominate, I, I just have a feeling, like, because I can beat people with the uh, super lights, because my Diablo beats the super light, I don't know if it beats it on every relay, but it does on relay 4, so that's good to know, that is very good, very very good to know indeed, so 3-0 here, and we're up to 12, I have no uh, expectations of getting top 10. I do not think that is possible for me at all. Um, but the top 50 would be so good. And being in the 10th position right now would really, really help me to stay in the top 50. Uh, is what I believe here. So, uh, City Streets, uh, this, time, this time we can win this one instead. Uh, because we can tie, tie, win tie, win, tie, lose. Yeah, we can definitely win this, uh, but that means putting our 996 on the karting circuit, unfortunately, but you can see, obviously, uh, how this is a win. Uh, I think you can do, because now I tie the hairpin road instead of losing the hairpin road too, which means we will win 100 to 50, like this. So, there... There we pretty much go, uh, in 8th place so far, and dude, I am not at all uh, going to hesitate from uh, putting some uh, gold into this. If I put all 600 gold, it would still be worth it if I made 11 to 50, so I have no problem in putting up to 600 gold into this event for sure, because I know I'm gonna get that back, uh, so yeah. And that is how I am doing in the current events. How are you doing? Are you uh, high enough RQ to have the daily event? If so, how are you doing in that? And how are you doing more importantly, of course, very importantly, how are you doing in the gold lunar new year event or haven't you joined yet? I know, I know, I know, people might join very much later than me. I know I said I'm kinda late joining, but this is no late join. I know people like to join like one or two hours before the event ends, and I have nothing against that. So if you are one of those people who joins like one hour before because you think you do not have a good squad and you wanna like cheese out maybe a top 50, that is completely fine, do that, because that is uh, just a mechanic in the game. It's not supposed to be, uh, you're not supposed to be able to join the last hour and then uh, squeeze it out because your bracket is really bad. Uh, that's not how the game is intended to be played. But I just know that is how you do it nowadays. Like, it is possible, so why wouldn't you do it? Uh, if you don't have a good deck, I wouldn't advise you to do it. But if you want to do it, be my guest. And why wouldn't I advise you to late join like that? Because it's a very, very thin edge because you might as well get into a really tough full bracket and you will be the le uh, the, the last person like you will be all the way down there that's the issue with late joining it's very very inconsistent so that's why i like to join like eight hours before like this because i know i have decent decks for most events so i can probably do decently if I go in where other people with also decent decks go into the uh, tournaments. That's why I usually join like uh, from 17 to 6 hours left. In between those uh, sort of guidelines. That's where I usually join when I'm not feeling very confident. Uh, you know. So yeah. Uh, the Chiron uh, Sport prelims are coming up. Of course we can win the beautiful Bugatti Chiron uh 
uh, Sport in the finals, which is a crazy car. It's just a better version of the normal Chiron, which is already incredible. So, yeah. I am really looking forward to that. I'm not gonna win the, the Bugatti though, but I am looking forward to everybody just hammering it out to try to win that Bugatti. And I am so excited for the YouTube scene because I know a lot of people are gonna open a lot of packs. And I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I enjoy pack openings probably as much as you do. I, I watch them all the time from other creators than myself. Like Chaos Crew, I watch him all the time. Hero, I watch him all the time. Vincent, Top Drives, Blossom, of course. CMG, I watch all the new Top Drives videos because I really do enjoy the game. But yeah, that was all I had for you in today's video. I do digress. I do digress. I'm sorry. Uh, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave it a like. You can also subscribe to become part of our ever-growing family. We're all almost at 2,000 people and when we get that milestone there will be a complete garage tour guys and you do not want to miss that so press that subscribe button and we will reach 2k very soon also my top drives related instagram and my patreon is down below in the description if you want to go and check either of those out both come with nice privileges if you follow my instagram you obviously get access to my top drives content very much earlier than anyone else because in my Instagram I post about my garage, how I'm doing in events, other fun things regarding top drives and sometimes rebel racing. So if you're interested in that, definitely go and check out my Instagram and my Patreon of course has very exclusive content, an exclusive forum even, and it costs one dollar to join. Of course you don't need to do that, but you can. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. Until next time guys, stay safe, take care of one another and have a good one. Goodbye.